my question is like I know how much time you must be spending on your Tesla factory. I know how much time you must be spending on SpaceX, and yet you still have time to dig holes under the ground in LA and come up with these ideas and then implement them. Like I got a million ideas. I'm sure you do. There's no shortage of that. Yeah. I just don't know how you manage your time. I don't understand it. It doesn't seem it doesn't even seem humanly possible. You know, I I do basically I think people like don't totally understand what I do with my time. They think like I'm a business guy or something like that. Um like my Wikipedia page says business magnate. What would you call yourself? I'm a business magnet. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone please change my Wikipedia page to magnet? They'll change it right now. Please it's probably already it changed. It's locked. So somebody has oh. to be able to unlock it and change it to magnet. Someone will get I that. want to be a magnet. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I do engineering and you know and manufacturing and that kind of thing. That's like 80% or more of my time. Ideas and then the implementation of those ideas. That's like hardcore engineering. Like yeah. designing things, you know. Right. Structural, mechanical, electrical, software, uh, user interface, engineering, aerospace engineering. But you must understand there's not a whole lot of human beings like you. You know that, right? To your an oddity. It seems, uh, yes. To chimps like me. We're all chimps. Yeah, we are. We're one, we're notch, one notch above a chimp. Some of us are a little bit more confused. When I watch you doing all these things, I'm like, how does this motherfucker have all this time and all this energy and all these ideas... And then people just let them do these things. Because I'm an alien. That's what I've speculated. Yes. I, I'm on record saying this in the past. I wonder. It's true. I mean, if there was one. I was like, if there was like maybe an intelligent being that we created, you know, like some AI creature yeah. that's uh, superior to people, maybe would just hang around with us for a little while like you've been doing and then fix a bunch of shit. Maybe that's the way. I might have some <laughs> mutation or something like that. You might. Do you think you do? Probably. Do you wonder? Like, are you around normal people? You're like, hmm. You're like, what's up with these boring, dumb motherfuckers? Ever? Not bad for a human, but I, I think we will not be able to hold a candle to AI. Hmm. You scare the shit out of me when you talk about AI. Between you and Sam Harris. Oh, I didn't sure. even consider it until I had a podcast with Sam once. That's and great. He made me shit my pants. I, I, talking about AI, I, I realized, like, oh, well, this is a genie that once it's out of the bottle, you're never getting it back in. That's true. There was a video that you tweeted about one of those Boston Dynamic robots. And yeah. you're like, in the future, it'll be moving so fast you can't see it without a strobe light. Yeah. You could probably do that right now. And no one's really... Uh, paying attention too much other than people like you or people that are really obsessed with technology all these things in, are happening and these robots are and did you see the one where P PETA uh, put out a statement that you shouldn't kick robots it's probably not wise <laughs> <laughs> for retribution their, their memory is very good I bet it's really good it's really good I bet it is yes and getting better every day it's really good are you honestly legitimately concerned about this are you is like AI one of your main worries in regards to the future? It, yes, it, it's less of a worry than it used to be, uh, mostly due to taking more of a fatalistic attitude. Hmm. So you used to have more hope, and you gave